Welcome fellow traders, Magic Trader here, and this is the CFTC report for the data that was collected on July 2nd, 2019. Here's a brief snapshot of the positions held by the institutions as of that date. And so let's take a look at gold. Okay, so let's just clear that up. So we have gold here, and we can see that up at these highs where price is consolidating, they added more to their longs from 298,000 to 312, which caused price to push up to the highs. And now we can see longs are very aggressive. Okay, Longs are very aggressive. Total size is somewhat aggressive, 85% over exposure to the long side. So it's likely we're going to see a drop from these highs because they can't add more longs. I mean, they can, but they're getting to really aggressive territory. So it's likely they're going to start taking from profits, which is going to cause price to drop. So we are expecting a drop in gold. Now we take a look at oil. And as price was consolidating after the rally, we had them increasing longs from 496 to 513. Uh, a slight increase in shorts as well. 81% uh, is where it still, still sits right now, long exposure, and 392,000 is what net positions are at. So since taking profits, they've declined pretty aggressively from you know the 500s down to the 392s, Expe still expecting longs to, to close for some profit taking. We're just trying to time our entry to get in short at a good spot. So everything is looking aligned for a bigger push to the downside. Now we take a look at the dollar. We see that price was consolidating here at the demand zone. We uh, knew that it was likely going to rally up, which it did. So they closed off some longs and they closed off some shorts. Nothing really happened here except for a slight increase in long exposure from 74% to 75 and a slight increase in net position. So nothing really is going on. Slightly bearish. If you take a look at the colorations of the cells, blue, a little bit more green, but not by much. So the data isn't really telling us much of what the institutions are up to in terms of the dollar. Now we go over to the Aussie. They were aggressively short, so we knew that they were going to take profits, and that's what took place here. That's why we got the rally upwards. And as this push upwards took place, we see that longs increased from 30 to 34, and they continued to take profits on shorts, and that again is what was causing the price to move upwards. So what takes place now? Uh, it's in no man's land. We're reacting from a 20 EMA, so anything can really happen. It can go down, it can go higher. We are wanting it to go higher because it would be a nice place to get in short higher up on the charts, but we're still watching right now and waiting for these signals to be produced. US CAD, this one here, we see they went from since June 18 where contracts expired, they reduced their long positions heavily. So as they did that, they also increased shorts, which caused, which caused this big drop in price here on um, on the US CAD, creating supply up above. And now we see bearish for the first time. This is a big sign, okay? Bearish with net positions. So they could start accumulating, a, once again, a long position from these lows. It could drop a little bit further. There's a lot of things, a lot of factors involved in whether it's going to happen or not, but it could start accumulating a long here and then react and then push to the upside. So we're waiting to see if the signal gets produced for some long trades. US Swiss franc, aggressive with longs, took profits, causing the big drop in price, which we were expecting. Shorts still very cooled off but we also have cooled off long positions. So right now we went from very bullish to somewhat neutral, waiting for stronger signs of what is going to take place. If price is gonna go up higher, they're going to start removing their supply and then creating new demand for a push upwards. So again, just like the US CAD, we're at decent areas where we could start seeing an accumulation of a long position again. Euro US dollar, we see longs close just by a bit, but here is what we should be looking at here, okay? What we see is they closed off short positions from 215,000 down to 188,000, okay? And that is what helped propel price to the upside was that closure. Now we've still we've since seen price revert back to the downside into 
some demand. We look here, we're not seeing much in terms of direction or sentiment. It's still neutral, but look at these numbers declining pretty aggressively. That opens up the possibility for a move to the upside to take place. So waiting to see if that is what is actually going to take place or not. Pound US dollar, we see that they increase shorts, which caused price to drop here. A paused price, eventually it dropped. We know the higher time frame forces are pushing price lower, so it does eventually want to go lower. Uh, um, somewhat aggressive with shorts, but not overly aggressive, so still a little bit of room to cause price to drop further. US uh, Japanese yen, we see longs are cooled off. They're starting to build momentum with shorts. We see the coloration of the cells turning red. Good sign for a bigger push to the downside. Was expecting it to go higher. Would have been nicer if we got it higher because then we'd be looking to get in short from those highs. Uh, Kiwi dollar, uh, same thing here. We're very aggressive with shorts. Profit taking caused it to, to get reduced slightly. Shorts, are, our longs are very cooled off. Uh, coloration of the cells tells us the sentiment is bearish. We know that the higher time frame forces are pushing down, so expecting momentum to eventually shift back down to the downside. And that is it 